Oh, welcome back to DJ Fossils. So, as promised, I thought I'd show you some of our collection so far. Uh, I've got quite a lot of stuff. Some of this is from Lyme Regis and the South Coast, and some of it is from up in Yorkshire. So, lots of different things. Some of this is very pyritic rock. This is all from Yorkshire. So I'm waiting to get my proper tools to be able to get some of this out because I'm not doing very well with the little hand tool. doesn't go very well. And these are all from Yorkshire. All these here. That one split open quite nicely, but a little bit of it did get left behind on there. So I might end up sorry it got left behind on that bit there that goes the other way round obviously yeah and this one cracked unfortunately it's got a couple of beautiful ones in there this one's from down york down in south coast a bit of a like limestone type rock this one's quite big as you can see that's from Yorkshire again that one cracked sometimes I do grab bits uh, like these two over here just a couple of blanks but they look really nice just the impressions uh, that bit I picked up from down Lime Regis I just liked it because it's got an ammonite in the top here it's got uh devil's toenail there and there's another shell there so i thought it might look quite nice i don't know what else is going to be inside uh this one wasn't complete but i did like it as you can see i'm starting to take the wet and make some of the matrix on it it's got those lovely bubbles around the edge the tiny little one in there sometimes i do find just little things like that this is very uh, for the pyrite. It's all shells in there and stuff. I thought that was quite a nice bit, little piece. And again, this is the same. It's all pyritic, but you've got loads of bits in there. You've got three different ammonites. There's shells. There's also some on the underside as well. Again, and that was a. A shell in there, another shell there. Sometimes I grab these big pieces because if you've got something like this in here, you don't know what else is in that layer. There might be some other stuff. So I can't remember what, what this one was. I've picked it up because of it looked really strange. It's got all sorts of bits in it. I don't know what it's going to be or what it is. Sometimes I just pick things up that look interesting. And this one's got tiny little shells in it and stuff. And an ammonite keel sticking out the end there. And then this one, but my, like I said, my hand pen doesn't work very well on these. So I'm going to get the proper kit soon. Uh, this one had that one in there and then I saw there was another one on the end it's just a bit of a partial but I just like the crystallization of it looks really nice Again, another one there that broke I've got all the bits so I can glue it if I need to just thought that was interesting it's not really much of it left but it just looked nice When I first started out, it was a little bit of bulb night I picked up. Uh, I've got that, which looks like some sort of uh, casing uh, from a, you know, a wormhole, that sort of thing. Another chunk with bulb nights in. I've got quite a large selection of things, and this is not even half of it yet. I also have a little collection 
the wife likes to pick up of crinoid stems and they're so detailed if I can zoom in on some of these the patterns are different on some of them absolutely minute I mean if I put my finger in there to give you an idea of the size of these they are absolutely microscopic sorry my fingers dirty I've been doing a lot of work but yeah they some of those are like the tiniest ones there are only a couple of millimeters wide uh, another ammonite sticking out the end of that rock another a pyrotized piece there with one there or there's another one showing up this end here and sometimes I just pick up things like this you don't know how what it's going to be like inside so that's just a partial of a massive big one which I'm going to clean up look quite nice when it's tied clean and tidy again that's another partial but it had all the bubbles on it and I thought that was interesting I hadn't got anything like that and I saw this piece which has got something in here I'm not sure if it's part of an ammonite or if it's a shell yet so we will get that cleaned up once at some point and have a look now I picked this up don't know what it is just looks really strange it's got all this bits in it now I think it might be parts of a shell but I don't know just looks interesting and again picked up this don't know if it's a bit of bone or something but I always pick up little odd bits and pieces that look a bit strange even a bit of pottery there that we found I think that was at Lyme Regis. Now, this is a big shell. That's the shell length there. As you can see, I've started taking away some of it. I've still got this side to take off. But it's quite an impressive size shell. Not the biggest though. I've got some bigger ones. A tiny little ammonite sat in this tiny rock. A tiny little stone. Again, another bit of partial there, and this one, it's got some bits and pieces in there. I'm not sure what they are yet. I think it might be shells, but we collect shells as well. So, got a nice little collection of devil's toenails here. This one's found it like that, which is quite nice. But also got this massive one. Yeah, I need to get the rest of the matrix off of that. Again, it's another one there hopefully when they're done and cleaned up they'll be all right Ooh. another one here and it's still got a lot of the uh coloring on it so that's quite nice and another one there and another one big one there as well and a few different other types of shell bivalves i think that one i like that i found that exactly as it is this another tiny little one there these are all shells to come out another one in some limestone it's not prepping brilliantly but it is coming out but unfortunately I think uh, some of it's missing off of here um, but it was like that unfortunately when I found it that way uh, another ammonite in a shell there, in a, in a rock, sorry. And this big beastie, humongous one, which I found at Portland. Absolute weighed a ton that did, trying to carry that back in my bag. I mean, it is not a small piece of rock. What I'm not sure about though is, is that the ammonite there? because there's more showing sorry I can't get in very well with the camera on the back there of that big thick piece there 
as you can see so I don't know whether I need to take this piece off or whether that's part of it so I might have a good look at that on the camera another time when I've got a bit of space um, got various shells some nice crystallization in these there are actually shells in there in there and there so this one it's got some bits and pieces in I did like this when I saw it on the beach. It's got a lot of ammonites in there. And um, I know there is actually evidence all the way around it. Right there of ammonites. So I might actually prep off this back here to reveal the whole of the middle. I think that would be the best option because all the stuff on this side's worn. A uh, little piece of bone we found, I don't know what that's off. And the wife also likes to pick up bits of bellum night. So, uh, got quite a few of those now. And odd, strange bits of stone that she picks up as well sometimes, which was quite an interesting bit. A bit like a cross on that. Uh, lovely chambers showing on this one it's obviously not complete but it still looks nice i love all the chambers when they show like that uh, another ammonite sat in the middle of there and there's that one and then there's another partial one there there's also bits of shell in there so uh, another one like that rock there i've got another one there that's got loads of ammonites and Bits of shell showing through. Another shell. Sorry, focus keeps going off. Another devil's toenail there. Got quite a few of those now. Another partial in sandstone type or limestone. I'm not sure which one now. Uh, yeah, that's a just a partial. But again, it showed all the crystal. I do like that. So, still worth a little clean up. This piece I did like. It's got a lot of crystallization, tons and tons of shells all over it. So, it could be quite a nice piece to have a little play with. And another chunk there. It's got loads of ammonites showing and stuff in the middle. So, I'll probably take a, a layer off that as well and see what we can find. I've got another partial there with all the crystallization. I know I shouldn't really pick all those up, but I can't help myself. They do look gorgeous. Another one there that I've started trying to remove from the matrix, but I need to take off quite a bit of there. So I'm waiting until I get the be better tools for that. I uh, can't remember what that piece was. Just odd bits and pieces. This big chunk I liked. It's got like ammonites all the way around on the top. I think when I start to remove some of the matrix around it, it might be quite nice. That was a giant squashed pyritic am ammonite. And another partial there, it's a very big piece. So, unfortunately, it's not complete. Uh, this one's got a lovely shell sat in the middle here. And I don't know what else might be in there, but usually when there's shells like this, there'll be several others, and we do clip the shells. And I found this, and it looks like there's something in there. I don't know what it's going to be, or if it is anything. So, still picked it up. Some nice little partials here. Sometimes when you get these partials, they've got such beautiful detail on. Just can't help grabbing a few. And again, this one here has got lots of bits of shells and stuff inside. And I love this one. It's going to look nice when that's all finished off a little bit. So, not 
not sure what to do with this section here because obviously it would have been the shell there and there isn't any of the chambers showing I don't know whether to try and scrape away at it and see, get to the chambers or not um, this are the, the last few bits here are from the first video you saw so lovely little heart shaped rock with a couple of ammonites in this beauty it's absolutely a shame it cracked because the colours are astounding on it I do like this one as well that's actually am ammonite but it's very poor it might clean up we'll wait and see a few more bits of ammonite that we found on our last visit and some more partials there but I like this partial here it's got some beautiful colouring on it so that's going to clean up nicely and that night which is a complete piece which I liked so I've also got this which I started to dig out now I actually think it could be an upside down crab the base of a crab I'm not sure and um, there's various bits that sort of a bit strange it's got a shell going round and then it's got a chamber inside but it's got these little bits here these little stalky bits and things so I'm not sure what that is that I found quite a long time ago that was one of my early finds another partial uh, an ammonite again quite a big piece so I thought I'd grab that and then a couple more of the internals with calcite showing which I like all the chambers so also uh, we found these at Barton on Sea which is a collection of shells they were all in the clay beds now these are actually really delicate they've I'm leaving them to harden off a bit before I clean them up they're almost chalky as you can see that one's a bit cleaner but it needs cleaning they chalk the dust the clay stuff's coming off them now it's drying out and these shells but most of these just broke as you try to get them out this is the only one I managed to get out complete but yeah there's a few different ones there but these are all out of the clay beds in Barton on Sea but you have to be so gentle getting those out they actually live in this tub so they don't get crushed or broken uh, I've got a few other couple of other bits I've got my big shell and stuff so I'll grab those in a minute and show you those so the last bits that I mentioned so I've got this there I don't, I'm not quite sure if it's an ammonite or a shell in there but I think it's, it could be an ammonite so that one to have a look at another giant piece of partial off a really big one these I love. I collect. I love my shells. As you can see, that's reasonably big, but not as big as that one. I mean that that thing is humongous. I've been prepping at it. I've just got to get a bit more work around this edge, and maybe take some of this rock off the bottom just to flatten it out a bit to make it more of a display piece. And we found this with this gorgeous stuff in. Don't know. Is. this was all down at Lyme Regis these bits so I do like the the colors on this bit of a magpie unfortunately I do like shiny things and we also found which needs a good clean up it's not been cleaned properly yet this beautiful crab shell and I mean it is absolutely stunning absolutely complete there's one tiny piece there that's broken off which is the other corner there other than which will glue back on but other than that it is 100 percent complete and i think it looks absolutely gorgeous uh, fossil hunting maybe not but it's nice to pick up a few bits and pieces anyway that's it for now thanks for watching and Maybe I'll show you some of these bits as they develop once I get my prep tools now that I've got my workshop all set up. 
So as you can see, I've got a nice workbench here to work on where it's where I'll be prepping all my stuff here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye for now.